Hi, my name is Amanda Dew and I'm here today at the Commonwealth Court for the HPV vaccine. What I want to say is that I'm a mother who believes her daughter has been severely injured by this vaccine. A few years ago, um, she had two doses of the HPV vaccine, Gardasil, and a couple of weeks later, a few weeks later, she started having seizures. That was just the start of it. Um, all sorts of autoimmune problems, balance problems, memory problems, um, social anxiety. The list goes on and on and on. When I started realising that there were hundreds of other girls having similar problems, I thought I'd better start talking to doctors and neurologists. What I found is that absolutely nobody wanted to listen. Um, they didn't believe my daughter and they didn't believe me. They thought I was an overbearing mother and that she was making things up. My point is we keep being told all the time that the vaccine is safe and effective and there can't be a leak. When I asked the doctors what tests they would use to prove that, that they thought there was no leak, they couldn't give me one single test. And yet, here we have Japan, where 132 girls are now in the court case and across the country, um, and they decided to suspend the vaccine after six months. They ran lots of tests on the girls, so they were doing nerve conduction tests, they were doing memory tests, um, tests on their, their state, their mental health state. None of these tests are done here. I've had some tests done privately, um, autoantibody tests for my daughter to show that she was incredibly high in certain antibodies, autoantibodies. When I show this to the neurologist, they're not interested. Um, her seizures, over 70 seizures now, nobody's interested in finding out why. My point is that this vaccine, this HPV vaccine, is seriously dangerous. Um, if you don't believe me, just go on any of the groups, the Time for Action group. You can, you can find out testimonies of other parents. And there's no test done. All I want is actually, please interview you, us and the daughters, find out what's going on, see if you can make this into a safe vaccine because putting aluminium, polysorbate 80, uh, sodium borate into this vaccine is making it incredibly dangerous and our children are purely and simply guinea pigs. Add to that the fact that cervical cancer rates have not fallen in this country, the rate in women below 24 was virtually zero, that hasn't changed but it's rising in the older girls, the girls that should be protected because this vaccine is meant to last 10 years and yet in the older girls aged 20 to 24 the rates are rising. So it's not even working. So please do your do your homework, do your research. Don't let your daughter uh, be one of the guinea pigs. Thank you.